Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Miss Meryl Makes. I'm Miss Meryl, so good to see you. And today I have a bright and colorful project that I know you're just gonna love. We are going to be making some pop art donuts. They are called pop art donuts because they are in a style of art that is called pop art. Now you might be wondering, Miss Meryl, what's pop art? Pop art was a style of art that was created during the 1950s and it's known for its bright colors and bold patterns. So as you can see in this example, I have lots of use of different patterns and colors. Another thing you'll want to know about pop art is that it uses things in the picture that are familiar to us. So some examples are foods that we eat or brands that we buy or famous people during the time. Finally, another really important thing about pop art is that it was created during the time of mass production. That means that during the 1950s, a lot of items and goods were being produced in factories. That way they could make a bunch at once. So a lot of times in pop art, you'll see the image more than once, like you see four donuts in this example. So today I'm just going to be showing you how to draw one donut and the steps are right here. I'll go through them with you in my demonstration. It will be very easy to follow. But on your example, you can do one, two, three, or four. If you wanna do more than one, just repeat the steps. Also, this lesson I typically do with older elementary students, grades three through five, but I've broken it down super simply today so that all elementary levels can participate, grades K through five. All right, let's get started making our donuts. Okay, everyone, here we have our steps for the donut drawing and the materials. You'll need a piece of paper to draw on. You can use a square or a rectangle, pencil and eraser to start. Optional, if you want to use a black pen or marker to outline your donut, kind of like you see in this example here. That always looks nice. And then some coloring materials to get it all nice and colored like true pop art. So if you wanna use a square piece of paper like this large sample of mine that's all colored in, um, all you need is for both sides, or all four sides rather, to be the same length. And then for folding, just remember we fold in half one way, and then one more time, and that will divide the space up into four sections. And that is if you wanna make four donuts. If you wanna make four donuts, but you have a rectangle piece of paper, same thing, fold in half, both ways, then open it up. And then if you have a rectangular piece of paper, I recommend turning it this way to do the four donuts. But I'm just going to be showing you how to draw one donut today with some different options for toppings. So I'm just gonna get my blank piece of paper. And like I do for lots of projects, I'm going to skip the pencil and eraser and move on straight to my permanent marker so that it's a little easier for you to see. But of course, do whatever you feel comfortable with to start your donut drawing. So let's actually look at the first step. I notice I have to make this curved, kind of stretched out rainbow shaped line, which is eventually going to become an oval on its side. So I'm gonna start with that kind of right in the middle of my paper and draw a large stretched out rainbow shape. Okay, then I'm going to, on the bottom, connect from side to side with a large stretched out smile shaped line. It's okay if it's a little pointy there, that's where I'm gonna make the frosting go. But first, I have to start working on the donut hole in the middle. So to start that, I'm going to draw a smaller smile shaped line in the middle of my donut. And then a smaller rainbow shaped line going in the middle of that over the top and a little bit shorter on the sides. And this gives the donut hole kind of a 3D sort of look or appearance to it. Okay, next we're going to add a wavy line and that's gonna make the frosting
and I'm gonna connect it here where my donut became a little pointy and then just smooth it out there. Okay. Next, I'm gonna start working on my background before I do the toppings. So first what I wanna do is create a foreground. Let's actually look at this. The foreground is the space underneath that appears closer to the viewer. And the background, imagine that this is a wall, the space that appears further away. So where I wanna start the line to separate those two spaces is kind of right where the frosting meets going out to the side. So straight across horizontally, skip over the donut and continue on the other side. And then just pick any sort of patterns or designs that you would like to do in the background and the foreground. So some ideas are to think about different kinds of lines and shapes. We've done a lot with patterns in my videos. Wiggly lines, checkers, zigzag lines, diagonal lines over here, curved lines, sort of a brick pattern with little rectangles straight vertical lines up and down, and polka dots. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is some diagonal lines. And then for the top, I think that I want to do some polka dots. I love polka dots. Okay, here I have a plain donut with no background because before I color the background in on the first one I made, I just want to show you a few different ways that you can do toppings on your donut. So one way that you can do the sprinkles is just by outlining little tiny skinny ovals going in all different directions and then coloring them in with something skinny like a gel pen or colored pencil. And then if you want to do anything like this, this sort of glaze design with frosting, for that, you actually just draw it straight away with marker or anything that has a dark color to it. Um, so let's say I wanna do a dark fudge chocolate glaze. What I'm gonna do is draw a wiggly line that stretches across my donut. And when I get to the hole, I have to carefully skip over it and continue on the other side. The last technique that I'm going to show you on my original donut that I was working on is how to do sprinkles just with marker lines. This one's the easiest one. And I like this one because you can color right over it with crayon. But what I do is kind of like how I drew those little ovals in different directions, but I'm just making short little lines with one color at a time. For this one, I'm gonna do some pink frosting. So now I'm just gonna finish up coloring my donut. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today on Miss Merrill Makes. I hope that you have a wonderful time making your donuts and that you also had fun learning about pop art. So cool. 
Now, all this talk about donuts has got me really, really hungry. So I'm gonna go try to find some. But in the meantime, I will leave you with this sweet, sweet image of some donuts to inspire your amazing artwork. Bye everyone.